Hi, my name is Dr. Vakas. Today we will discuss how to take a detailed history when a patient presents with loose motions in exams. So let's start. Start with name, age, residence, occupation and admission. Then comes the presenting complaint of loose motion. Ask the duration and then ask anything else along with loose motions. At this time, if the patient says something, you will take a detail of that also. Whenever a case of diarrhea comes in exams, I suggest you to use this formula. By using this, you can cover a lot of questions in diarrhea. Fux Zeta for F for frequency and A for amount. C for contents and consistency of uh, loose motions and S for stimulus that is what are the uh, reasons or causes of these loose motions and S for stop how they are stopped and I for intermittency and T for timing of loose motion and A for associated factors along with loose motions. Now we will discuss this in detail. In frequency you will ask the patient how many stools per day do you have and ask about the amount of stool. Remember that in large bowel diarrhea amount of stool is small while in small bowel diarrhea amount is large. Ask about the consistency. Ask the loose motions are watery type or custard like. And ask the patient about the contents of the loose motion. Is there any mucus or fat? Are they difficult to flush or they float on the pan? Also ask the patient is there any blood in the stool? And then comes the stimulus and start. Ask the patient is there any relationship of food with loose motions. For example, uh, gluten uh, containing diet may be associated with the loose motion as in celiac disease. And ask how the loose motions are controlled by taking medication or by fasting for example which occurs in osmotic diarrhea. And then comes the intermittency. Usually in the exams, uh, the patients which we face, they have uh, recurrent episodes of uh, diarrhea. So ask about the past history of su such episode of loose motions, also about the frequency and severity of disease uh, at that time when the patient had loose motion before this time and also ask about the previous hospital admissions due to loose motions. And then comes the associated factors, ask about vomiting, abdominal pain and fever. If a patient says yes about one of them, then you will uh, take a detail of that uh, associated factor. Remember that uh, when a patient of uh, bloody diarrhea comes uh, in a exam, and he says that he has blood in stool so you will use uh, the same formula but add C at the start. C is for the clarification. In clarification you will ask blood from any other site. Blood is bright red or dark color. Also inquire about blood comes before during and after bowel works. This is very important question and an examiner expects from you to ask this question. And any pain or on passing the bowel works which occurs in anal fissure, any lump comes out of back passages which happens in hemorrhoid. And this is the time for the differential diagnosis. Start from uh, asking the question, is there any history of use of medications before the diarrhea, laxatives or antibiotics uh, could be the cause of loose motions in this case and ask the patient is there any history of travel and uh, ask about the food partners having the same disease 
which occurs in infectious uh, diarrhea also as about the constipation along with diarrhea which occur, which occurs in ibs and in case of inflammatory bowel disease you will ask the following question sense of incomplete evacuation of bowel constant and strong urge to pass the stool as about mouth ulcers any problem with eyes any redness the which occurs in uh, conjunctivitis and epicycloritis and uveitis as about is there any history of joint pains if the patient says yes then ask in which joints he has pain and ask about any rash like uh, erythema nodosum and pyoderma gangliosum may occur in inflammatory bowel disease in and in the differential diagnosis you will ask the patient is there any history of radiation before the development of diarrhea as about heat intolerance and tremors in hands for hypothyroidism and chest tightness and redness of face which occurs in coccygnat syndrome and uh, ask about extra marital relationships but uh, remember that whenever you will ask about the such a personal question uh, tell to the patient that i want to ask some uh, personal questions to you which are necessary for the diagnosis of your disease and this information will remain between me and you okay then ask about Uh, uh, cough night sweats and contact with tb person and then uh, this is the time to ask about the complication of the disease ask is there any numbness for vitamin b12 deficiency ask about bone pains any history of fractures difficulty in uh, standing from squatting position for vitamin d deficiency also ask about the bruises gum bleeding for vitamin k deficiency ask about night vision disturbance which may occur in vitamin a deficiency and uh, remember that in inflammatory bowel disease there is a possibility of dvt so ask the patient is there any swelling uh, is there any history of swelling of one limb uh, along with the loose motions and uh, no this is the time to ask about the diabetes and hypertension in detail remember that uh, till this time we have already asked a lot of question and uh, if we forget any question we can cover that in systemic review so uh, start with the general question ask about weight loss fever and lumps and then start from head to toe as a patient is there any visual problems and any patient any difficulty in uh, swallowing and heat and cold intolerance polyuria and polydipsia for diabetes as any history of cough shortness of breath chest pain and palpitations pain in abdomen also inquire about uh, stones in a uh, gall bladder and ureter which may be associated in inflammatory bowel disease and uh, in systemic review uh, i always try to ask about uh, history of jaundice rash and joint pains in treatment history ask about the previous and current medications and you will uh, ask about them in detail you will ask uh, which type of medication uh, how many times he is taking and uh, any improvement after taking this medication and uh, compliance is uh, very important because sometimes the patient takes some medication and they stop using this medication and uh, always try to ask this question and ask about uh, any blood transfusion in treatment history is the patient says yes ask when and which type of transfusion was given and uh, uh, how many times in personal history you will ask the smoking and uh, about alcohol use alcohol use is associated with chronic pancreatitis so it is important here and uh, if you have not already asked about the extra marital relationship you can also ask here and about uh, ask about the travel history 
and in family history is important for inflammatory bowel disease and CA colon. This was all about the history of diarrhea. Like and subscribe our channel for further videos. Thank you.